So, Marty, we're here in this beautiful theatre. It is such a stunning theatre, isn't it? It's fantastic. It's it's like the mothership of uh, if you call yourself an actor in Northern Ireland, especially to perform on that stage is an absolute joy. It really is. And what about stepping out on the stage for the first time? Do you still get that, that little rush of nerves? Every single time, and I've been very fortunate over the years, you know, to have done quite a few shows on the stage. But even coming in today, you know, the anticipation all over the weekend, mm -hmm. knowing that we're coming in to be on this stage, it it doesn't get any better. It really doesn't. I mean, they're all fantastic, but there's something just so special about this place. Tell us all about the show Crazy. Everybody seems to be talking about it. It's hilariously funny. Yep. T tell us a bit about the story, Ted. It is an absolute hoot. Uh, it's actually very poignant. Please. It's a story about a young lady called Ruby. And the music of Patsy Klein is like the storybook of her life. Her mom, who is no longer uh, with us, uh, her memories of childhood were sitting with her mommy listening to Patsy Klein songs. As her mommy said, there's nothing in the world that a good Patsy Klein song can't fix. And it's all about being, you know, crazy for feeling so lonely, walking after midnight, always in search of love. And she's very unlucky in love, and she's always on the lookout for Mr. Wright, and she doesn't really. So Mr. Wright has been sitting on her nose for 15 years. And that's her friend Gary, who they share a house with. It's his house. She lives there. And unfortunately for Gary, she um, has him agree to allow her Uncle Eddie to stay. Okay. And Not that's that would be my involvement, and it's the madness of Gary's frustration with Eddie's up to all his tricks and uh, you know very uh, dodgy business dealings, and Ruby's uh, loyal to him, and it's slowly but surely they gravitate towards real uh, realization, which is a joy to watch in the in the play. Now there's three of you in the cast, yep. isn't there? So it, it must. How, how do you all get on? Well, it's. What happens on stage is not too far removed from what, <laughs> what happens. We're all the best of mates, and there's, it all starts with the, the almost respect for each other. I mean, everybody, and uh, Kieran Nolan is just, in my opinion, a bit of a wee genius. Caroline Kern is a rock star, superstar in my eyes. You know, Maggie Muff, all the Fifty mm -hmm. Shades plays, but way more than just, just that. Yeah. And myself, I've been around the corner a few times, you know, I think longer than they've been alive. <laughs> <laughs> you can edit that out, can't you? <laughs> but uh, we get on great. And everybody, everybody, Martin, Martin Lynch, you know, I've worked with Martin many times, as we all have. And it's, it's uh, you know, people say there's a place for critics, but this one, the punters, the people who pay the electric bills in the opera house who put food on our tables are the ones who love it because for two hours you can come in here and have a good I laugh. And I'm sorry, but that's, that's, that's my cup of tea all day long. Exactly. It really is. Now you've told us about the Patsy Cline songs. Do you have to be a country music fan to come uh, and see No, this? absolutely not. No, no, not at all. Because it's if you're like relationships, because even Gary's character, he's a wee bit obsessive compulsive. And we have people commenting when he fixes his cushions on the, on the settee. You can hear people going, that's you. That's you. That's just the way you get on. He's, you know, everything has to be perfect. And I'm a slob. It's almost like the odd couple yeah, kind yeah. of thing. Um, and he's always putting coasters on in my drink and I just leave everything at my backside and um, another edit. <laughs> <laughs> and I have him up there while he's trying to show her that he loves her and while she's trying to find she all of, At the start of the play, she has just um, come back from seeing her fancy man in the Gambia. Right, and he's right. like, like, the Gambia? Why, remember the days when you used to, your ma used to go with the fella two streets over? Now she's away at that Gambia. And he can't get his head around. It's killing him that she doesn't realise that he's the man for her. All right, and right. that's how they beautifully come to realise it. It's hilarious. And it's very, very poignant as well, you know. And uh, Oh, look at him. I hear Martin Lynch in the background Shut telling me her. something about Garth Brooks. What's, sure. what's happening? I think he has a wee button on me. That, that, <laughs> it's a, Martin, don't forget to say this. Lynch, you're dead. You didn't tell me I was going to have to do this. <laughs> Blame it all on my roots. I showed up in boots and ruined your black tie affair. Was the last one to know. Was the last one to show. I was the last one you thought you'd see there. And I saw the surprise and the fear in his eyes when I lifted his glass of champagne. 
Well, I toasted you, said, honey, we may be through, but you'll never hear me complain. Well, well I've got, got everybody. Friends. Yeah, let's all do it. No. Yeah. We look forward to it. The people have to come along to the Grand Opera House it's to hear more. You know, I know it's, really, it's a great Northern Ireland. Everybody involved is from here, and we're, it's, we're very fortunate to be up on this stage, but the punters have been loving it, and it's back for the second time, bigger and better this time. And uh, we're really looking forward to tonight, and thank you so much for having us, and appreciate uh, getting the opportunity to do this interview. So thank Thanks you very, very much. Marty, good luck with the rest of the run. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks, you. everybody. Ruby, I hope you don't mind me asking this. It's, it's kind of personal, but please tell me you made him wear protection. Protection? This sounds like I feel like I have to stick a water boot on it. <laughs>